get a piece of equipment for your energy infrastructure today? It typically comes with a whole lot of sensors built in, like temperature sensors, vibration sensors, pressure sensors, and sensors that give you a whole lot of other good data. Then this equipment gets installed in a place that's really hard to get to. Cisco is an expert at getting data from hard to reach places into the hands of decision makers. We've brought you this series so that you can see a few examples of how we do that. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's Spotlight Series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and joining me today are Jeff Whitney and Dave Quick of Burkana Resources. Burkana helps oil and gas, midstream MLPs, and electric utility companies increase efficiency and improve asset performance. Jeff, how does Burkana do this, and why are these services important for the energy industry? Well, the way Burkana does this is we approach the industry from a solution space standpoint, and what we provide to oil and gas is solutions that basically help drive efficiency in oil and gas infrastructure. So we're an operational technology company and we provide those solutions based around Cisco products. We're usually providing solutions for a specific issue that the client's having. And the way the clients benefit is they traditionally would either get a lot more efficiency out of the assets or safety. And so Burkana has been an integral partner with a lot of the oil and gas industry for years, helping provide solutions that drive the industry forward towards greater efficiency. And from the standpoint of newer technologies like AI, machine learning that are being incorporated now by the industry. In May, Burkana was selected by Cisco as an InDesign partner. What does this partnership mean and how will it benefit Burkana's customers when it comes to your service offering? Well, it's a huge deal from our perspective because from the design inside of the house, they provide a lot of resources for us to develop solutions at the edge. And we're seeing more and more solutions go out to the edge. So just demand for more data, demand for more efficiency at the edge. And Cisco basically through design in helps solve a lot of those problems. Some of the issues are you know, centered around the technology. Some are centered around actually security and, and data transmission. I mean, how do I get the data connectivity um, implemented? How do I get the data to the right location? And how do I do that securely? And what can I do at that edge layer with Cisco equipment? With the new technology that they've introduced, we can actually load applications at the edge layer and provide solutions to clients, everything from just data transmission through implementing AI on specific assets or AI for the whole process. And then you can also connect to the cloud, of course, and bring in things like machine learning. So from our perspective, it gave us a huge advantage and a huge benefit to provide our clients with edge solutions. Dave, can you provide an example of a case where you've required Cisco's technology and expertise to find hard to reach data? What we have done is provided a number of solutions where large corporations are upgrading and moving from older technology to new technology. And the problem was just how to do that without disrupting their current production. So what we've done is designed entire networks that sit in parallel with their existing ones and allowed them utilizing Cisco equipment to move from an older technology to a newer technology, therefore increasing optimization and availability of assets in the field. How does connecting an operator to this data make their business decisions better? In case of like a pipeline, you're looking at different portions of the flow of product through a, through a large pipe. The more you can actually uh, gain the data, the better the model you can build of what's actually happening to your process. This allows optimization of moving the product along the pipeline. And it also increases security from environmental impact because now you have a model that you can look for anomalies and find uh, leak detection and processing so that it's easier to find when an anomaly occurs. Dave, what are some trends you are noticing when you assess customer infrastructure when it comes to technology, security, and compliance? There is a larger uh, concentration on security. People are becoming aware that infrastructure assets are a, a prime target for nefarious operators on the outside. With Cisco's technology, we have the ability to move 
a lot more security down to the asset level. Now we're putting in encryption and anomaly detection. First of all, with the encryption, we can stop nefarious actors. And with the anomaly detection, we can see if there are protocols that shouldn't be there. Jeff, what inspired you to start Bracano Resources? What does success look like for you? Oh, success means that we've met or exceeded the client's expectations when we get engaged for a project. I mean, it's really that simple. For why I started it, I actually am a serial entrepreneur. This is my fifth company. And I, at one point, got into IT and didn't have a great experience. So I merged the company off and went into back into process control to try to help clients that actually deal with real assets in the real world. For me, critical infrastructure was just a really exciting place to go. And I felt that we could actually make a difference. It's really an amazing space. Uh, the people are fantastic that we work with. We like our customers. Very smart people. I mean, every time anybody goes to turn on a light switch or it's water at the pump or gas at the gas station, there's a bunch of people that we work with that are very good at providing those services to people. To me, it was just very appealing to go back into the process of the whole environment and see if we can make a difference. Thank you so much, Jeff and Dave. It was a pleasure chatting to both of you, learning about Burkana Resources and about your partnership with Cisco. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it.